Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Alex, Senior Account Executive at GDMFX uh, with today's European Session Outlook. And we will start with the North American markets. On Friday, we had data from Canada. Canada added far more jobs than expected last month as, a, as a service sector hiring accelerated and the unemployment rate fell from a three-year high. Although some economists were wary of readings uh, too much into the notoriously volatile figures. Still, the report was the latest indication the economy grew strongly in the first quarter after struggling with the oil price shock last year. Separate data on Friday showed activity in the housing sector held up in March, with housing starts declining less than expected to 204.3 thousand uh, units. The economy created 40,600 jobs in March, uh, far surpassing economists' expectations for 10,000 and driven by a 35,300 increase in full-time jobs. The unemployment rate declined to 7.1%, its lowest level since December, and the participation rate remained at 65.9%. Overall good news for Canada. The Dixie is down to 94.11 from 94.61. And the USD against the Canadian dollar is 155 pips down Friday. It retains the bearish formation ahead of uh, the Bank of Canada's rate decision, which will be Wednesday. Uh, today's events, uh, we're going to have a Fed announcement. There is no set time for the announcement, so we will need to be alert throughout the day. And also, uh, we have Treasury Secretary Law uh, having a speech as well. Most important events uh, from the North America is on Wednesday. From the US, uh, we have retail control, retail sales month on month, and ex autos month on month. And from Canada uh, on Wednesday, as I mentioned, uh, Bank of Canada monetary policy report, uh, statement, interest rate decision, and press conference. The central bank is expected to keep rates at 0.5% uh, given strong first quarter data. All right, on to the European markets. Uh, on Friday, the Swiss unemployment rate grew 0.1% to 3.5%. Uh, the inflation data, uh, however, met expectations. Uh, the CPI year-on-year -year came out at negative 0.9%. German Finance Minister Wolfgang Schäuble said Sunday he is fairly optimistic creditors will soon reach an agreement in the bailout talks uh, with Greece insisting that the deal would include economic overhauls and not additional debt relief for the struggling country. Uh, there are no events today in Europe. Uh, the most important data will be on Wednesday. Uh, the Eurozone's uh, CPI data will be coming out then on Thursday and Friday. The International Monetary Fund will be ho uh, holding a meeting and we'll also see the Eurozone's trade balance on Thursday. Okay, uh, time for the UK markets, uh, the events from Friday. And we had industrial production month on month, 0.2% worse than expected at negative 0.3%. Manufacturing production month on month, 0.9% worse than expected at negative 1.1%. Industrial production year on year, 0.5% worse than expected at negative 0.5%. And manufacturing production year on year, 1.1% worse than expected at negative 1.8%. We also had the GDP estimate. It came out same as previous at 0.3%. The sterling slid 0.8% versus the greenback and 1% versus the euro last week. As poor economic data, the Brexit referendum and the waning possibility for the Bank of England to hike interest rates put pressure on the pound. Uh, on Friday, the pound was able to gain some ground versus the dollar. But overall, it was a good week for the bearish investors as sterling depreciated against 11 out of its 16 major rivals. This week, the core inflation data may show the increase uh, with up to 0.4%, which despite being well off the 2% target, uh, has or will provide some fresh air for the bullish traders. The FTSE 100 was up 41 points and closed at 6,146 on Friday. The 10-year guilt yields closed at 1.45% on Friday. This week's most important events are uh, on Tuesday with the CPI year-on-year -year and core CPI year-on-year, -year, as well as the traditional Super Thursday. All right, on to the Asian and Pacific markets. 
uh, we had uh, the Japanese Eco Watchers survey. Uh, it came out 1.2 points worse than previous at 45.4. And uh, China's consumer inflation was unchanged in March as compared with February and remained below the government's uh, target ceiling, official data showed on Monday. Uh, economic growth in the East Asia and Pacific region will ease, uh, dragged down by weaker growth in China as the world's second uh, biggest economy shifts to a more sustainable pace of expansion. This is from uh, the World Bank, uh, which had a report today, early today. Excluding China, the World Bank expects growth to actually pick up in East Asia. Uh, the World Bank said in its uh, East Asian Pacific economic update. China's GDP data comes out on Friday. In the Pacific, we'll have uh, Australia's unemployment rate and employment change data. All right, uh, on to commodities. Uh, we had the Baker Hughes oil rig count on Friday. U.S. energy firms cut oil rigs for a third straight week to the lowest since New November 2009 as companies slash spending uh, drillers cut eight oil rigs in the week to April 8th, bringing the total recount to 354. Uh, crude oil prices held gains on, in Asia on Monday uh, on hopes for easier monetary policy in China after consumer prices for March came in weaker than expected and monthly uh, producer prices rose. Gold prices inched higher Friday to settle at a more than one week peak due to a broadly weaker US dollar. Uh, gold had a range of $13 up to $1,249.60 now. Silver had a range of $0.21 cents at $15.43 now. Uh, crude oil had a $1.30 range at $39.66 now. And natural gas is trading at $1.91 at the moment with a range of $0.06. Cents. And lastly, the International Monetary Fund uh, releases its world economic outlook tomorrow. Thank you for attention. That was all for today and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.